when you work with pivot tables, you've got three options for displaying what's called a report format. In this worksheet here, comprised of some 900 rows of data, we're going to create a pivot table relatively quickly by clicking on the Insert tab in the ribbon, choosing Recommended Pivot Tables. I'll choose the first option simply by double-clicking it. We're on a new worksheet, Small Pivot Table. I'm going to alter the pivot table by checking the box for Salesperson. This will automatically go to the row labels. And so we now have a pivot table showing Salesperson and Region total number of items. Let's also bring in product, but as a column labels entry. Now, recognize that in a pivot table, if you make no changes to the report layout, the default layout, which is currently being displayed, is called compact. That doesn't necessarily mean a lot to anybody until we compare with the other two. Do recognize that the current layout does not use field names above our entries here in column B or in column A over here. And Instead of seeing row labels, wouldn't it be better if we saw the name salesperson? Instead of column labels, wouldn't it be better if we saw the word product? So on the design tab, the contextual tab that appears when the active cell is within a pivot table, we have the option report layout, compact outline and tabular. Compact is the default. It's my least favorite because it does not show the field names. Outline shows field names. You'll notice also, as soon as I press this, the display will become wider, but we do see region, salesperson, product, report layout. Tabular will show these field names as well. In addition, we'll see grid lines. So the major difference between outline and tabular is simply the presence of grid lines. Both of them do show the field names, and that's why I think both of these are preferable to compact form. Now. If we were to go back to compact, and I'll do this again, recognize the display will be narrower. That's its one advantage, but we see row labels and column labels again. Let me press Control-Z to undo. Now, the other difference between the two, and not obvious at all, and not at all indicated as we point to these different choices here, is what happens with subtotals. Now, it's a fact that sometimes subtotals are not what we want. In this case, maybe they are. Let's assume that they are. And I'm currently in tabular. Remember, the difference between tabular and outline is tabular shows grid lines. But there's another difference, and it could emerge in a strange way. Suppose you're looking at this data, and you go to the option off the design tab in the ribbon for subtotals. And here's a choice that says, show all subtotals at top of group. Well, that's interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Maybe that would look better. Let's try this option. And as we look at the data below, say rows 5 through 17, 18, we're looking at the data. What happens here? Did I get that right? Nothing happens. Why is this choice here? Well, you wouldn't know it at first, but if the report layout is tabular, as it is now, this option has no meaning. Let's switch over, by way of report layout, to outline form. And now we do see totals across the top. Now remember, outline does not show grid lines, so we're not seeing those, but the subtotals are at the top. So since we are now showing outline form here as our report layout, we can get these totals on the top. Now, when you are using the outline form, you can go back to subtotals and say, well, you know, I really prefer the subtotals at the bottom of the group. So when we're using outline form, we can put subtotals on the bottom or the top. If we're using tabular, we can only put totals at the bottom. That's the difference. If you do prefer to use compact form, there you can put totals on top or bottom. So now it's compact form. We'll go to subtotals. They're currently on top. Let's put them on the bottom. We see that, or of course, we can see them on top. So again, remember the differences here. Outline and tabular, the ones I prefer since they show real field names. Tabular shows grid lines, but does not allow us to put subtotals at the top. Outline does not show grid lines but it does allow us to put totals at the bottom or the top.